So, Mama told me there were some things that we never talk about. So I wrote, and I wrote, and I wrote, and I wrote. Tap dancing problems, picking keys, plugging away at green screens, thought, stop. Feeling, stop. Uh, quotation, stop. <laughs> blah, blah, blahs, stop. Quick survey up and down, up and down, stop. Print. <laughs> Did it? Did it? Ah. Look over, read over. Survey all the tell me you could and wish you would. Rock and roll springtime sentiment. Took it to my father to read. He taught English to prepubescent adolescent cases. He told me about Cummings and Poe. He flipped me coins for a Shakespeare soliloquy and affixed me with a cape and a nervous day. <laughs> so I handed him what I wrote and he read and read and read over and over and over, up and down, up and down, and said, sounds like you're trying to be Bob Dylan. <laughs> so I sat back down and wrote and wrote and wrote, read and read and read, writing, 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 grew and grew and grew. Sexual exploration of romantic volcanoes and sophomore synergy of lust and skin complaints. <laughs> to the best of my ability, able to tell her that she looked like this and wishing that I looked like that, that thing I thought we all wanted to be. Wrote and wrote and wrote, pierced my ears, wrote and wrote and wrote, fell in love, wrote and wrote and wrote, tried to kiss too many girls, wrote and wrote and wrote, tried to fuck too many girls, wrote and wrote and wrote, and tied them all together in a valentine of tears, and then, with glasses resting on my nose and apprehension resting on my shoulder, but armed with the young and unknown accolades accumulating a uh, subconscious pretense and mistake, I, once again, wait for it, handed my father what I wrote, and he read and read and read, over and over and over, up and down, up and down, and... He didn't say anything. He picked up a red pen, folded his paper, and zigzagged cross your puzzle suggestions with syncopated, matriculated, numb, notated notes. They read, too much illusion, too much heart on your sleeve, way too many curse words. <laughs> and we never talked about it. So then, eventually, I met a girl with poetry in her eyes and Kerouac cosmic beach boys vibrations in her hair. I scribbled sonnets and slingshot songs and other cliches for her on a dirty notebook, copied, typed, printed, and handed to her in a valentine of sweat. <laughs> and she read and read and read over and over and over, up and down, up and down, and said, You're a great writer, but I just want to be friends. What a fucking bitch! <laughs> Didn't she know I was in love? Didn't you know I wandered around in the snow for hours, picking metaphors and stealing similes from my like disc man, spinning Cat Stevens' greatest hits? Fuck! <laughs> she sighed me off and retreated to beatific football stadium shadows, and we never talked about it. So, eventually, I met another girl with poetry in her eyes and Van Morrison improvisational string arrangements in her hair. I scribbled sonnets and prof 